Hey folks, Jason here from Westside Stores. So today we're out in one of my favorite little spots. Uh, we're gonna set down some mineral and, and a game camera. We're gonna show you how this is done. Stay tuned. All right, so here we are today. We're out and we're, you know, it's late October. We're gonna put some mineral down. We're gonna start hunting this spot when the whitetails start coming into the rut here in the next couple of weeks. So I've got one of the Ridge Tech Summit 4 CC3 cameras. We've got good cell service in this area. So this is gonna allow us to put a camera up. It's gonna send pictures back to the phone or back to the email address and show us what's around and when it's coming around. So we'll set that camera up and we'll, we'll get it talking so it's sending us pictures. I mean, I don't hunt with that. It's not like, you know, I'm gonna get a picture, I'm gonna race over here and find an animal. I mean, I'm way too far away from that. And I think there's something morally and ethically a little wrong with that too. Just gives me good intel without having to come here and disturb the area constantly, right? You know, these deer come through and we're gonna get a good picture of that. And, uh, and like I say, not have to come in here and traipse around all the time. The other thing we're doing is we're gonna put the new Primos Red Zone mineral out. So this is the powdered version. Um, we've got a, a salty block down here and I've got some liquid mineral as well. So we're gonna get it out. Once the moisture hits that thing, you get a little bit of rain on this, it's gonna drive it into the ground. And these deer are gonna paw it up and, uh, and eat that mineral. They'll actually eat the earth away for it. I mean, it's uh, pretty amazing stuff. I always joke this stuff is, it's ungulate crack, it's crazy. Once they get on it, they keep coming back to it. So. Um, we're also going to go through and we're going to clean some of this understory, some of the shrub that's in the way. I'm going to set the camera just on the tree over there and then that way it gets a good picture of this area that we're going to put the mineral down. But I have to clean this understory because that, that little bit of stuff, if you get a breeze starts moving it, it'll trigger the camera and you get pictures of nothing. So we don't want to fill up a cart or, or have it sending me pictures of just branches moving. So we'll get all that cleaned up and, uh, and get this mineral down. So let's get at it. So it doesn't take a lot of mineral, you know, to get a spot established. So we used maybe a third of that little bag that I had. It's about a five pound bag. So just a couple pounds on the ground here and, uh, and maybe kind of half a liter, a liter of the, of the liquid, poured it down over top of that block and, and all around the area. Um, those animals are gonna smell this and they're gonna come in here. So you can come back, you know, you'll still have some left. You can come in every week or two weeks, refresh that a little bit, check your camera, see what's going on. Um, the other thing I do is we keep the bags when we're done and I put them in my tote with my camo so that my camo actually picks up some of this scent because as the deer get onto it, they start to learn this scent and they realize that that's something they want, right? So if you're out and you're in your tree stand or your ground blind, you might as well smell like something they want. You know, everyone puts scent on, we'll all use estrus and things like that. Well, this is another good idea. So just throw the throw the bags in your, in your tote with all your camo and your camo will pick up some of this scent. So. Let's get the camera up. So we're getting the camera put on the tree here right now. On this new Rich Tech, it's really nice. It's got a little display screen on the front so I can actually see what the camera is seeing right here without having to open and close. Um, what I'm seeing is the camera is a little low. So it's down there. So I'm just gonna use a stick like this. I'm gonna pick the camera up and I'm just gonna wedge it in the back and prop it where I need it and make sure that that's giving me the right view. So once I get this, I'm gonna go out there, dance a jig, make sure it takes a few pictures check the pictures, make sure I'm with happy location. It's getting all of me, that way we get a deer feeding or he picks his head up, he's gonna be about my height with his, with his rack. So we're gonna to wanna to see all that. So just double check your cameras before you just take off. Let's do that. So I can see now that I'm back here where the mineral is, I was actually getting more of that firearm and, and the mineral over there, not the spot. I mean, I can see the way the camera's lined up. It's still wide enough, it's gonna get all this, but I wanna just skew it a little bit so I get more of this in the frame. So let's get that moved. So like I say, I'll just stand here a few minutes, kind of wave your arms, dance a jig, and get some funny pictures of yourself, and then just go back and just check it. Make sure it got the right picture. 
Okay, so I just refreshed, we got another picture in and it's a picture of me standing right here. So in the frame, I am pretty much center of frame. You can see just above my head and right to my boots. So it's kind of where I want to be. You know, any deer that walks through here, if he's a good antler deer, he's, he's gonna be around this height to antler. So we're gonna make sure we get them all in the frame. So, you know, here's a good, uh, here's a good picture and show you what it looks like. So, yeah, pretty cool technology. And like I say, I mean, ethically, I would never put this in my own backyard and run outside and shoot a deer off it. I just, for me, I hunt to hunt. Um, it's a great scouting tool. It, like I said earlier, it saves me having to come out here a whole bunch, saves the fuel and time, checking cards, all that stuff. I know exactly what's going on here without having to make these trips and disturb the area. Um, but I just, I just encourage people not to hunt over the things. Just get out and enjoy it and, and hunt to hunt. Enjoy time with family and friends. So, guys, thanks for watching. That's uh, that's a quick way to set up a camera and some mineral. Um, follow us here at uh, on YouTube at our Westside Stores YouTube channel and check us out online westsidestores.ca and get all your stuff. Thanks a lot.